Hello. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to add your MTD settings for business owners. So starting from your main dashboard, your business dashboard here, see we're in Barney's Balarama. Over on the left hand side, we'd go down to settings first off. Now this will bring us through to the company settings dashboard. And we'd be looking at accountant information to start with. So we can see that it's currently set to the agent level. That means it'd be being submitted through an accountant, something like that, bookkeeper. In this instance, we'd go to trading information. In the top right hand corner, you've got the option edit. So clicking on there and then you can put in, so as business user, your own login details for the HMRC gateway. So this obviously it's a test account. So we just pop that in and then password. Once you're happy with that, scrolling down slightly and clicking on save. Now this may take up moments to save those details. And then you can see changes have been saved successfully. And when it comes back to the main page, We'll then click on account and information and you can now see the HMRC gateway level has been changed to company level. So then following that step, we actually go to the MTD settings. So on the left hand side, clicking here. Now you can see you've got read access and write access tokens. So first one we'll be clicking on the read token. Yeah, and this will bring you through to HMRC Gateway and basically sort of linking it with Namisma so the information will be able to flow that way. So I continue. You sign into the Government Gateway and then pop in your Government Gateway ID, password. It'll just ask you to confirm that you're happy with what you're doing. You go through from there, click confirm, and then it will bring you back to Namisma. And when you come back, you will see populated here the read access token and the refresh read token. So those will be populated in there. And then you would just do the same for the write token. Again, following through pages, it'll take you to the HMRC gateway. Sign in there. It'll click in, prove that. Once you've done that, it'll bring you back to this page and have these populated. Showing here is your VAT number. And then once you're happy with everything that you've popped in there, you just click on save. Say, so following this, if you have any questions, queries about this video, please feel free to contact us on 020 302 12326, or you will be able to drop us an email at support at Thanks for watching.